Blue Mist Road. Interior delivery room, night. A doctor hovers over a young woman in her 30s. She's Alicia Bardales. A heart rate monitor beeps on and off, keeping cadence, keeping a rhythm as the chaos erupts around the room. A nurse hands the doctor a pair of forceps. Okay, Alicia, I'm going to need you to push. Ah, uh, is, is my husband here? On his way. Heart rate is good. 110. Strong and steady. The doctor leans toward an assistant at the bedside. Let's get that meconium suctioned off as soon as the head protrudes. Alicia is bathed in sweat. She sucks in a few breaths and is on the verge of exhaustion, her eyes open and closed from the stress of her exertion. I know this has been difficult. Alicia, stay strong. I'm going to need you to give one more push. Alicia strains one last time and her baby, her firstborn, enters the world. The doctor holds the child in his hands, clamps the cord and cuts it. There is a delay. Something isn't right. The assistant suctions the meconium off the baby's body. She gasps and struggles, attempting to breathe, but taking in something else, something more dangerous and deadly. Aspiration. Let's get her lungs cleared. She's not breathing. They rush the child to a delivery table. Is... is she okay? The last thing that Alicia sees as she drifts into darkness are the doctor and assistant working to clear her child's airways. The soft beep of the heart rate monitor fades out. As the light fades away, we hear the baby's cries for the first time, and then... Nothing. Fade to black. Interior, the Bardales home, night. A pencil scribbles across bone-white paper. It traces the outlines of some as-of-yet unseen shape. A pair of hazel eyes stare down at the page and dart back and forth across the image. Grace, seven years old, draws rapidly. The year? 1880. The Catholic priest, Father Ryan Gahan, is asked to set up a church in Pennsylvania in the county of Allegheny. With him is Cloda, his daughter. The drawing is very detailed for a child's drawing. It shows talent and promise as Grace depicts settlers planting crops. The Clauda, the daughter of Father Gan, wears a silver Celtic pendant. During the settlement's first few weeks, supplies began to run low. Low enough that people feared they may not see it to spring. In the scene, the drawing has a storage area and saddened settlers staring at the rat-eaten supplies. Many worried about starvation. The grains were ruined by rats and no game was seen for many miles. During their hardship, the settlers still managed to finish the church's crude wooden structure. Grace completes the coloring on it as well. The church completed. Father Gahan held service to ask God for deliverance from their growing predicament. The kitchen. Alicia, Grace's mom, prepares a large meal with mole poblano, rice, and asparagus. Grace? Time to wash up. Alicia grabs some spices off the rack, and nearby is a sign with the family name etched into it, Bardales. Grace's room. Grace packs up all her art supplies and paper and heads downstairs with an armload of stuff. Gavoy! The kitchen. Alicia tastes the sauce and sprinkles some sesame seeds over a finished plate. Dad's on his way home. You know he doesn't like to wait. Mama? Yeah, baby? Can we set a place for Aunt? Who? Aunt. Aunt. My friend? Oh, the friend. (laughs) Sure, baby. He won't eat much. He just likes to pretend. Mm Mm-hmm. Set the glasses, will you, baby? On the counter is a checklist from a marriage counselor. A question reads, What can you do as a family to bring each other closer together and avoid awkward silences? Answer, family night with a home-cooked meal. Alicia wipes off her hands and hears her phone ring. On the ID, the name displays Mom. Bueno. Allie, it's so nice to hear your voice again. It's always great to hear yours, Mom. Alicia turns off the pen with the tender chicken mole and covers it up with a glass lid. How are things? We haven't spoken in... In years. I know. I feel terrible about that. Just to let you know, I've been good. There was a little bit of a fire. A fire? It was in the bedroom. I left a candle on, part of a lamp caught. I had such a fright. Alicia becomes teary-eyed as she hears her mother's voice. She becomes more upset with each moment. Dear, your sister was very upset you haven't returned her calls. Alicia wipes her eyes, continues her call without betraying her tears. I know, Mom. Things... Things have just been super busy, with with Grace and school. How is my little bunny? Can I see her soon? I've been dying to give her a nibble. Grace is fine, Mom. 
She's doing fine. Um, hopefully when everything settles down, we can stop by. I'll make sure we can sit down to dinner. Is Daniel doing okay? Mom, I know this is odd, but are you still living in the same place? Of course, dear. I never left. <laughs>